Hello and welcome to a Waifu 2X tutorial for the Macintosh. Uh, there are a lot of versions of Waifu 2X on Windows, um, such as uh, such as Dandere 2X, uh, Video 2X, and of course the, the most popular one, Waifu 2X Cafe, which I had to open earlier. Uh, we're running Windows in a virtual machine, we'll talk about it in a second, but we are focusing specifically on the Mac. So. Uh, to get Waifu 2X on the Mac, someone has actually written um, here on GitHub, uh, Zhi Yi, I hope I pronounced that correctly, uh, he very kindly put together a Waifu 2X version for the Mac that is written in Core ML and Metal, not CUDA, um, and it works really well and really quickly. Uh, I actually really use it a lot. Um, we'll have a link to this in the description. Um, we're going to show you how to upscale videos and photos, um, but if you want to just do photos, it's really, 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 really simple because uh, we're going to use the application. So it's going to be really easy. You just have to follow this instruction, option A, and we're going to do that for you on screen. So I've already downloaded it. I actually uninstalled it so I could show you guys. Um, so here's the folder I downloaded, Waifu 2X Mac Master. Go ahead and open Terminal. Take the build sh, put it in terminal, hit enter or return, and it'll automatically start building it for you. Um, and it'll leave it here in the build folder. So as soon as that comes up, there it is. Uh, and I believe, it, yes, it's done. Cool. Build success. We're all done. So we can close terminal for now. Uh, I personally like to put all my applications in the application folder. Yes. And if you launch it, it's really simple. Like, uh, we can pick, let me check my documents real fast. I think I put the tutorial. <laughs> we put the tutorial on my desktop. So this is my tutorial folder. We're going to talk about all this stuff. Um, but Waifu 2X has desktop. Waifu 2X uh, can work with things that have alpha channels, or sorry, things that don't have alpha channels, as well as PS, PNGs that, sorry, as well as PNGs that do have alpha channels. So this, I, I cropped out the uh, letterboxing from the video. So for now, let's take the last frame of this because it looks the best and we're going to process it and as you can see in metal it just runs real fast um, it, it finished it like in no time but um, some of you who are familiar with the website version of Wi-Fi 2 might notice that I have no fine controls I have no control over the noise reduction none of that stuff um, and of course doing this is great for like stills and of course you can save it to you know we'll save it to the desktop Desktop. Desktop. Photo example. Real easy to do. Um, so there it is right there and does a pretty good job. However, if you really want to take advantage of all the things that the Mac version has to offer, you are going to have to do the command line version. Now, I'm not personally well equipped enough to do that, but a very good friend of mine, and I hope he's watching this, because uh, he made a script that is perfect for video. Um, works extremely well. So uh, we're not going to name who he is, but there will be a link to his script in the description. It'll be on my Google Drive, so you guys can use the script. It's really awesome. So uh, the way we do this, let's say you have a scene that you want. You know, here's a scene of like. Liz from IGPX doing a punch and a kick and you know it's a very short scene it's 144 frames we pick the scene because it's short um, and I have them all in a folder they're, they're, it's a full image sequence so I can go through them one by one and it's a video um, this is actually how a lot of Waifu 2X is I think still done on Windows I know what done today 2X and, and video 2X exist but I think a lot of people still use the cafe version. So we're kind of replicating that here on the Mac. 
so I have all my sources and all I have to do is go into the batch script again this folder will be uh, will be uh, in my Google Drive for you to download so I'm gonna go ahead and open this in text edit and we're gonna do a very quick uh, video upscale so here's my source this is the folder also you want to try to make sure that you don't leave spaces so if you want to name a folder something underscores or dashes or whatever make sure you you keep everything uh, without spaces so we're gonna do that you can type out the entire um, chain uh, you know the entire folder path I don't tend to do that I just drag and drop the folder into text edit cut it paste it and there it is and then I did this earlier so I could, uh, could test it, make sure it still works. X, paste. All right, so uh, you don't touch any of this stuff. All the stuff you need to touch is down here. So next to the N is a number. That is your noise reduction quality. Uh, you can go from zero to four. And in this case, we're gonna keep it at two actually. And then size is, you, how much how much bigger do you want it uh, this script only goes until two so you can only either keep it the same size and just have noise reduction happening or two it'll double the size it only does double the size that's it uh, and then once you have uh, gotten the script to the way you want it you've got your source you got your output boop that's done so then we're gonna open up terminal we're gonna make this a little bigger so it's easier to see uh, I am not the best uh, person with coding, but this is very simple. Just type CD space, and then wherever this is, wherever this script uh, file, this shell script file is, just take this folder, boom, right there. It's already typed in for you. You don't have to worry about it. Hit enter, and then it's now to terminal is in this folder. Uh, to be sure you're in this folder, uh, you can type in PWP, P, uh, PWD, excuse me, hit enter, and it'll show you exactly where you are. We are in the batch script folder. We're in this folder. Now, all I have to do to activate the, uh, to activate this, let me delete all of this just to be, move to trash. So to use all that, all I have to do is dot slash, uh, sorry, what's the name of the thing? Waifu script, waifu 2x dash script dot sh, hit enter, and off it goes. And you'll notice it's really fast. Like, it is really, really, really fast. Um, off it goes, it's just, you can even go into the folder and take a look. It's already 24 images in. And it's, you know, doing a pretty good job. Again, Waifu 2X, my understanding of it is that it's machine learning, so there's only so much you can fine tune. It It's gonna, based on the noise reduction, it's just going to uh, basically brute force and just go through all of them. And the script is just telling um, Waifu 2X to just, hey, all the everything in this folder, all 144 images, up convert them, put them in this folder, that's it. And we're already up to 78 images out of 144. That is really fast. So I work, this is going to finish in you know, the next five minutes or so. But to move on, um, to compare that on Windows, Windows, this is a virtual machine, so it doesn't work quite as well. I don't have CUDA on this computer because I'm on a Mac. Um, but on Windows, you can do pretty much the same thing, but there are some extra features that Waifu 2X Cafe has that I would hope uh, become supported in the Mac version. I've been told by the developer that it is supported, but I, I can't quite figure it out. Maybe I just, I don't know command line well enough. One of the things that is uh, currently not supported, oops, excuse me. Oh, it's already done. And see, done. And all 144 images are done. You can take this into Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro and make an image sequence out of it and put it and sync it back with your audio. Um, there are plenty of tutorials that can tell you how to make image sequences. I'm not going to do that here. 
Uh, also, this does work with alpha channels. So if you have a source with an alpha channel, it will work. Uh, it does take a little bit longer. So just to run that, we'll do this one more time. Uh, batch script, excuse me. Open with text edit. And we're going to use the alphas this time. X. Paste. Paste. Um, just so this will go faster, we're going to reduce the noise reduction to one. All right, so, and you know, double check that your script actually did change using the preview, uh, which it did. And, you know, we're still in, we're still in um, terminal. So I can just uh, do the script one more time. I forgot the slash waifu 2x script dot sh. Boop. And it does show up differently, but and it is going to take a little bit longer, but it does start, uh, it recognizes the actual alpha channel in the image. And as you can see, it preserves those alpha channels, which again are just the letter boxes I cut out. And it should go through this relatively quickly. It's not quite as fast as not having an alpha channel, so if you can avoid that, that is uh, much faster. However, uh, let's bring the application version back up. so. I can complain a little bit. Unfortunately, there are things that uh, this does not support. So I actually have them in the folder, not compatible. Uh, 64 PNGs, 64 bit PNGs. So the ones we're using are 24 and 32 respectively. The one with the alpha channels is 32. Um, in fact, let me bring up media info so you guys can see the differences. So here's our first frame. This one is 64 bits, which is cool. Uh, we'll use our alpha channel one. This one is 32 bits because how is an alpha channel? And I believe this one will be 24 bits. Yeah, 24 bits, so it's 8 bit. Um, 64 bit is basically 16 bit, they're kind of interchangeable. And then, of course, uh, there's also TIFFs. Um, TIFFs are, you, you, you can make them less, but they're usually 16-bit. 16-bit, uh, 64-bit are kind of interchangeable. Uh, so let's see what happens if I open the application version up here. And process. It doesn't work. Go to the 64-bit version. Open that one. Process. It also does not work. Um, even if you save it, I believe it'll show up as we'll call this not compatible. If it even, I don't even know where it went. I don't think it went anywhere. Oh, I, I put it in the wrong. I thought I put it on the desktop. Um, there is the file right there that's not compatible. Meanwhile, on Windows, um, to my knowledge, I haven't really tested this as well as I should have, um, but it does work with TIFF files and it does work with 64-bit files. So we are going to go, in fact, I already did some tests. It does work with TIFF files. Um, we are going to go to the tutorial just to be sh totally sure, 64-bit source. Choose, we'll choose this one. We're not going to do a whole sequence because it'll take too long. Um, browse, output path, output, open. Cool. Uh, so demag level one, same thing. Uh, output extension, PNG, because this is a PNG. We're going to change this to 16 bit. Start, because these are 16 bit PNGs. This might take a while because it is. Um, it is. We don't have a, a NVIDIA card on this Mac. Uh, I actually do have a Mac that does have a NVIDIA card in it. Uh, it's an old laptop. So maybe that would still work if I, if I installed Boot Camp instead of doing it through a virtual machine. But uh, for now, we're going to do virtual machines. 
but this should work. I don't see it, you know, it says it supports TIFF right there. It says it supports TGA, BMP, which are formats I honestly don't use. Um, PNG should get the job done, but if I could have TIFF support, that would be amazing. Um, and apparently the CLI version, I've been told by the developer that it does support it, but I can't get it to work even with this script. So I don't know what the uh, what the issue is. Let's check back in. There it is. It has finished. It again. We're on CPU, not GPU. I I can't compare and contrast the cafe version. I personally think, from what I've seen, the Mac version is faster in metal um, than the cafe version using CUDA. But I can't confirm that until. I have a, a maybe a, a similar computer to compare it against. Um, so just to be sure it doesn't output. Oh, where is it? <laughs> uh, how do I go back? Sorry guys, I don't use Windows that often. It probably shows. How do I go back? Oh, probably up here. Where is the file? There it is, okay. So there's the file. And we can look at it and it, it's there, there it is. Like it's supported properly. Meanwhile, on, on the Mac, we get uh, this mess. So hopefully uh, with more people, hopefully maybe writing scripts for the, the Waifu 2X version on the Mac, we can get more functionality, that would be wonderful. Um, but in the meantime, that's it. Uh, in fact, this is already done. So we can put, you know, the output with alpha is also done. We can also put this now with uh, the music again and, and, and the audio and upload it to our hearts content and show people our examples of stuff that has happened. Um, well, I hope this has been useful. I hope um, people who know more about coding on the Mac than I do uh, can possibly uh, make more stuff for this version of Waifu 2X. Uh, it's really wonderful. I highly uh, recommend giving it a try on the Mac. Um, it is, you know, minus minus the compatibility issues uh, with with this stuff. It really does a really good job. I'm gonna use this one because, like, just look how fast that is. It's pretty pretty freaking quick. Um, but that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Again, please check the description. This uh, folder it will be a zip file. It will be on my Google Drive. You can download it and there will also be a link to the... Nope. Come on. There will also be a link to the GitHub where you can download this. Uh, I hope you found this tutorial useful and have a nice day.